I really love this topic of nation of nations and universal priesthood. I think when I, I read it and read it several times, looking at it from different angles, and what just stood out to me was realizing my own kind of political dilemma I've had my whole life. I don't fully side with one or the other. I've always said, can there be a middle party? Can there be something where we agree to come together? It's bigger than politics. It's bigger than our countries. It's bigger than our home demographic, on and on and on. There's something bigger than all of this happening here. And I, I really want to celebrate that. You don't like the way things are going in the world around you where you do or wherever you want to contribute more. We all have this incredible opportunity. I, you know, you've heard the saying, put your oxygen mask on first. It's a little deeper than that from, from my perspective of build up substance, build up your energetic muscles. So you know when everything turns to chaos around you, you're coming into the center and you're able to have this magnetic pull where others can find safety and shelter there too. And to me, that is absolutely what the universal priesthood and building a nation of nations is about. I'm not just an American. I'm a citizen of this planet. I'm a citizen of this universe. And I have a responsibility to give my love at every moment, to tap into my heart of hearts, which is connected to the one heart, and to share that with each of you. We can become of the higher reality of what's actually happening here. Ripples out very quickly. Others feel it. When you're vibing and you're walking around in connection with source, I, I, I call it my Disney princess mode. It's like the birds are singing, animals come popping out, say hello. People are like, hi there, hello. It's just like this little picture book thing. And it's not always going to be like that for us, but that can be our internal environment, despite everything going on around this. In fact, I, I believe the more intensity around you, the more we want to be centered. I've been reflecting on loving kindness meditation. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that. Basically is, may I be safe? May I be happy? May I be healthy? And as you say this, you naturally move into the next phase of, may you be safe? May you be healthy? May you be happy? May we all be safe. May we all be healthy. May we all be happy. It's this natural motion energetically for us as humans to want to share the sweetness with each other. We want to be in that place. I don't always love the things that are happening in my country. I don't always love things that are happening in other countries. And I have an incredible opportunity to pray for people when I don't agree with them, to pray for them when I agree with them to be there and hold the space around them, knowing that's fine, I'm still here doing my job. Wash, rinse, repeat, do it again, do it again. But where do we go when we don't understand what's happening around us? We go into that connection with source, where we are creating one nation that is unshakable, unbreakable, and is completely dedicated to the truth of love. And that's what we are doing these end series. And that's what all of the responding ones all over this world are doing. And today I'd like to celebrate that with each of you.